good evening kareem and good evening everyone no formalities no problem Good evening, Sravanti. No more good evenings, good afternoons, good mornings. Formalities, keep them aside. That we don't bother about formalities. Yes, Jennifer, uh, I'll give you. Yeah. Print to screen. So, Mr. George Gale, Mr. George Gale, Mr. George Gale is the name of the patient.
writing workshop for nursing profession. writing workshop for nursing profession. So writing workshop for nursing profession. It's a standard session. And we are going to learn the art of enhancing quality. I have taught you about grammar. I have taught you about vocabulary. I taught you sentence structures. I taught you conjugation of sentences. Now I'm going to teach you how to add quality to the presentation. How to add quality to the presentation. That's the point we are going to focus today. We're going to focus today. So that is what we are going to focus today. We are going to see a totally different transcendental concepts today. Yes. So what are we going to focus today is one plus one is equal to two. Yes. So if you have one word, how to make into two? How to make, how to transform that one sentence into two? And how to transform that one word 
into double the size. So, dimensional enhancement. Dimensional enhancement or so it is like pulling the po uh, pulling the four corners length and breadth so how are we going to add quality to our presentation so that's the point of question today Anybody is there who is going for exam tomorrow? Let me know. Um, there is only one Wala going for exam tomorrow. Okay, doctor. Fine. Right. multi-dimensional 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 magnification multi-dimensional magnification when something is there flaunt the, flaunt the vocabulary flaunt the vocabulary when you use some words they should be beyond the reach of any other person like that you have to present your vocabulary you have one word you have to add another word yes multi-dimensional magnification of quality when you write something when somebody notices that, there should be only one word of expression or sound. They have to say the one and only, wow. Nothing more and nothing less. Your presentation should be unique. Your presentation should be unique. So, so I am giving you five minutes. I am going to give you five minutes. I'm not going to describe too much. I'm going to give you five minutes. In this five minutes, you think about all the wonderful words that you know and write so that we are going to use those words. Yes, how we'll enhance those things. Okay. Quality enhancement techniques. Quality enhancement techniques. After many, after many months, I am with my friend.
after many months i'm with my very close friend okay all right now what i want you to do is i'm giving you 5 minutes write as many words as possible as many words as possible quality words you put these words in your letter and in your speech and that means you are going to add 50 marks 50 marks 50 marks yes that's the thing yes okay exactly 5 minutes how many words you will write i'm going to check okay
activate your brain cells you know lot of words which you have written don't underestimate the power of your brain recall all the words just you close your eyes and you will get one word you close your eyes and you get one word shoot your words you might have written number of writing tasks recall the words from those writing tasks for example recuperation commencement cessation recuperation commencement cessation reducing minimizing deteriorating lifestyle modification lifestyle modification activities of daily living professional support expert guidance because we are learning all together united we stand divided we fall what all the words today you are going to get if you put those words in the oet paper you are not going to fail this is these are my words 
mark my words underline highlight or put quotation marks or do whatever you want that's your choice but these words if you are going to use they will help you drastically hospitalization counseling guidance appropriate management regular monitoring medication non compliance medication non compliance emergency assessment emergency assessment professional guidance continuous supervision regular physical exercises regular physical exercises dietary recommendations dietary recommendations prescribed medication prescribed medication
नेसेसरी एजुकेशन नेसेसरी एजुकेशन Avoiding complications. Avoiding complications. Refraining from strenuous activities. Refraining from strenuous activities. I hope somebody is typing these things which I am telling you. Refraining from strenuous activities. Ambulation, mobilization, ambulation, ambulation without any external assistance, ambulation without any external assistance, mobilizing for short distances, Mobile, mobilizing for short distances, Accidental scalding, accidental scalding, extremely severe third degree burns, extremely severe third degree burns. Smoking cessation, smoking cessation and alcohol reduction were suggested. Smoking cessation and alcohol reduction were suggested.
monitoring supervision observation monitoring supervision observation over the counter herbal products over the counter herbal products upon admission upon admission during hospitalization upon admission during hospitalization post operatively post operatively continuation continuation dietary recommendations dietary recommendations meager financial resources meager financial resources loneliness loneliness survival on meager post retirement financial benefits surviving on a survival on meager post retirement post retirement financial emoluments or benefits assessment examination even evaluation examination evaluation observation assessment
regular daily dressing changes. Regular daily dressing changes. Monitoring the wound site. Monitoring. Regular monitoring. Monitoring the wound site. Regularly monitoring the wound site for any signs of infection. Regularly monitoring the wound site, incision site. Regularly monitoring the incision site for any signs of infection. Yes. So we have got 53. We need 47 more. 47 more. We need at least 100 words. If you don't, 100, uh, don't write. Actually, without my involvement, you should have written so many. Huh? Without me. So who are there? Let me see. Blessing, Diana, Jill C. Ranga, new candidate. Welcome to the platform, Kausar, Meera, Kareem, Jennifer, Reena, Renuka, Ani, new candidate. Welcome, Saranga, Ranavira, Seema, Smita, Sravanti, Damaru. Good. Right. Okay. Um, Yes. Fine. Then, uh, okay, I'll give you some uh, points, okay. If you see these things, maybe you will get some vocabulary. Socializing. 
socializing. Okay. Disorientation. 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 Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Uh. Okay. Uh. एक काम करो ऐसे बंद कर दो पूरा ऐसे नहीं चाहिए ठंड बहुत लग रही है फैन काफी है ओके सो नेक्स्ट Next, um, prescription, prescription, suggestion, recommendation, advice, suggestion, recommendation, and advice, suggestion, recommendation, and advice. Guidance counseling, guidance counseling, required necessary required as required as necessary required necessary needed required necessary needed <laughs> providing information providing information Emergency assessment. Emergency assessment. Significantly lowered mobility. So the same thing you can use. Not in this letter because the same words are there. In some other letter you can use significantly lowered mobility. Okay. Significantly return to normalcy. Return to normalcy. N O R M A L C Y. Regaining strength. Regaining strength. Regaining. Recovering. Recuperating. Regaining. Recuperating. Recovering. Concerning, relating, regarding. Concerning, relating, regarding. So these are some words. 
yes select all copy yes now i'm going to show you mm -hmm. new microsoft document okay vocabulary enhancement techniques Yeah. Yes, all your words are here. Okay. All right. Now let us take one sentence. One word now. So Diana Shiva has written 10 words at a time. Very good. Okay. Then Anaga Sajan has written number of words and posted. And see Thomas. And see Thomas. And see. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, Diana Shiva. Seema Smita. Okay. Fine. Now let us see. Consumption. Consumption. Okay. Consumption. Uh, so consumption, what consumption of fluid intake? Fluid intake, we can say. Fluid intake. Okay. Excessive fluid consumption. Consumption of excessive fluids. Okay. Excess amounts of fluid consumption. Right. Like that you have to see how you have to. Okay. Right. So a lot of words are there. I'll put these words in the Telegram channel later or I'll print this one and I'll give you. Okay. Upon admission. So this should come in the beginning. Post operatively during us. Okay, fine, fine. Very good. Guidance, counseling. Okay. Very good. Now. Yes, fast. Activate. I'm going to teach one letter for doctors and one lesson letter for nurses. Okay. Some vocabulary I'll be taking like last time how I took first for nurses, then for doctors. Okay. Right. Let us take that. Uh, yeah. Cancel. Now see here. Come on, activate fast. If you want to write in the notebook, you can write. See, what you have to do is mentally what you are going to do. Okay. George again. Okay. Mr. George Gale. Date of birth is given. So take date of birth. Okay. Then. Today's date, 15th May 2021. Afterwards, I'll take you everywhere. Don't worry. You are a nurse in an old town hospital. Okay. Responsible care of an elderly patient was admitted of. So, uh, inpatient ward is now ready to be discharged. Okay. Inpatient ward or outpatient ward or medical ward or whatever you want to see here. Admitted. Okay, admitted. That is, you have to see there. So, this is okay. Uh, right. He's now ready to be discharged. 
Next. Write the letter to Miss Jane Gold. So here is Miss Gold. This is not necessary. See, remember, which is more that one you have to take. This you avoid now. No need. No need this one. You can avoid. Miss Jane Gold. Miss Gold. Which is better? Miss Jane Gold is better. Head nurse. Head nurse. Take from here. Then Primrose Nursing Home. Primrose Nursing Home. 3 Blackwood Street. Old Town. Come on, write in five lines. Come on, fast. Miss Jane Gold. Head nurse. Primrose Nursing Health. Nursing Home. Blackwood Street. Old Town. Come on, write down. I'm making you to practice so that never even in your dream, in your wildest dream, you will not even try to forget. You will dare not to forget. I'm going to put it into your dreams that you will never miss these things. So it will become a habit like that I'm making for you. So if you write like this some letters, then afterwards by default, you will be right. Okay. By default, you will write, right. Primrose Nursing Home. Now you can type in the chat box. Three Blackwood Street, Old Town. That's it. This is the address. Right. Come on, come on, come on, fast. So this is how you are going to write the address. Right, come on, quick. All first words should be capital M, J, G, H, N, P, N, H, B, S, O. All these should be capital letters. All these should be capital letters. So by default, you'll start writing capital letters once you practice like this. Okay. Yes, very good. Four students have come. Activation started. Come on, get fast, fast. We are recharging our batteries so that we can go fast in the main letter. Because we are going to write sentences.
ये सिक्स वेरी गुड या थर्टी सेकेंड्स मोर Okay, now we are moving to the next one. Next one is the date. So, ten May twenty twenty one admission. Fifteenth May discharge. Okay, maybe we don't. We are not sure. We are not sure. We are not sure. So, where do we have to go? Today's date. See that today's date is fifteenth May twenty twenty one. So write the same thing. Today's date. This is the date. So on the exam day also you will write the same day. You are writing exam tomorrow, twenty fifth June, twenty twenty one. Then you, today two days twenty fourth June. So tomorrow is twenty fifth June. So you will write the same thing. Twenty five May twenty twenty one. So twenty five May twenty twenty one. Write the name of the month in full. Write the name of the month in full. Date number three. Salutation. Salutation. Okay. Salutation. We'll go here first line. So Miss Jane Gold. So you write dear Miss Gold. So dear Miss. Gold. Put a comma. Dear Miss Gold. Fine. Dear Miss Gold. From where you are getting this, dear Miss Gold? You have to write second name. Okay. For adults. Employee. That means adult. So, dear Miss Gold, dear Miss Gold, Miss and Gold. Title and second name. Title and second name. That right. Title and second name. The next salutation. Salutation. You go to the first page here. So you will say like this: regarding, regarding Colin, Mister George Gale. Regarding Mister George Gale, come on. 
regarding Mr. George Gale, comma, date of birth, column, 24, April, 1936. Regarding Mr. George Gale, date of birth, 24, April, 1936. This is one option if date of birth is given. And this is another option regarding Mr. George Gale, comma, aged 85. Okay. Anyone you can write. But the priority is if both are given right date of birth if only age is given right age okay when only age is given right age when both are given then right date of birth yeah Come on. So, aged 85. No need to write years. Aged 85. Okay, fourth one finished. So, this is how you are going to present. Okay. Yeah. So first option is more important. Okay. First option is more important. Right. Better to write first style. Better to write in the first style. Date of birth. Using date of birth. So that's it. Next. Fifth one we'll think about later. Now sixth one. Dear Miss Gold. Name of the person is there. So what you'll write here? Yours. Okay. Yours sincerely. Because name is given. Miss Jones Gold, Miss Dear Miss Gold, yours sincerely. Yes, yours sincerely. Next one, sender's address. You can see here, nurse, Old Town Hospital, Old Town. So four lines are there here also. So register nurse register nurse register nurse okay now discharged so post operative ward or inpatient ward in patient ward Yeah, patient ward 
right and what is this old town hospital hospital old town hospital old town right so this is the address sender address okay yeah so done and dusted forever very good very good now we are going to the second part we are going to the second part is the body of other than body so this is these are extra terrestrials above extra terrestrials okay now we are going to the main course we are going to the main course we are going to the main course now here is the case notes see study this now okay yes now now here okay what type of letter is this okay whatever this letter is this so you have to remember okay so your responsible elderly who was admitted of is now ready to be discharged so this is is now ready to be discharged see here the word discharged he is now ready to be discharged okay admitted and then ready to be sorry admitted and uh, little tired please bear with me uh, mm. so admitted and discharged sorry admitted and discharged okay now discharged right ready for discharge so now will i'll tell you the sentences you have to use those sentences okay you have to use those sentences i'll give you some words which are very important now here the words are mr gail okay mr gail fine currently he is now instead of now you use the word currently instead of now you use the word currently and currently mr gale is ready for discharge currently mr gale is ready for discharge so right like that okay okay so now this is diagnosis now right this is the diagnosis hmm. this is the diagnosis so mr gale right 
who was diagnosed with urinary tract infection. Okay. Right. Possibly because of a fall. Okay. Urinary tract infection. Okay. So, Mr. What are the things that you have to use? Right? So, currently, Mr. Gale, currently Mr. Gale is ready for discharge or is ready to be discharged. Is ready to be discharged or is ready for discharge. Anyway, you can write. Okay, that is one sentence. Now, second one is Mr. Gale was diagnosed with. Okay. Right. He requires further care. Further care required. So now you have to write using these words. Further care required. Now you can write the introduction. How you can write? Now let us see what are the words that you can use. Now, so this is one. Okay. Fine. He is now ready to be discharged. This is one point we are taking from here. Okay. Next, a second point. Sorry. Second point. Mr. George Gill. Copy text. Yeah. Yeah, this is second one, Mr. George Gill, the name of the patient. Mr. George Gill is the name of the patient. Then, what else is there? What else is there? Okay. Elderly William was admitted after a fall. Okay, that you can write in the second paragraph was admitted after a fall, you will write in the second paragraph. Okay, on which date, everything. So, next one. Copy text. So, further care required. Requires further care. Okay. Next. What else? I'm showing you how to take the information from where. Okay, further care required. Where? At your facility. At nursing home. At the nursing home. So this one. Copy text. See how I'm taking information for the introduction. Okay, is now ready to be discharged. Mr. George Gill is the name of the patient. Further care required. Okay, that is purpose. At your facility or at nursing at the nursing home. So where is he actually coming from? You see there. So 14 Long Street, Old Town. That is his address. That is his address. Okay. Fine. Yes. So urinary tract infection. Okay. Next. At your facility. 
okay then in a ready for discharge okay to nursing home for temporary care try to understand for temporary care okay not permanent until he recovers okay temporary care right is charged to nursing home okay is charged to nursing home discharge to primrose nursing home so discharge to your facility being discharged get to your facility at your facility so here you have one more point okay is charged to your facility okay so at nursing home okay at the nursing home he is being discharged this is a letter of discharge is a letter of discharge write a letter of discharge yeah this, this is a discharge letter see they very carefully so discharge letter is being discharged that one fine so that is dealt with the next one what else the gales history outline gales history outline gales history give me give his history okay what is what what is what give his history okay and your concerns and recommendations okay right concerns and recommendations okay next briefly outline mr gales history briefly outline mr gales history now what is going and which is useful how you check like that okay so there you are he is now ready for discharge ready to be discharged okay uh discharged um discharge to it called discharge to discharge to which one primrose nursing home discharge to the nursing home discharge to the nursing home for ongoing care and appropriate management okay management on oh, no. treatment so this is the way how you have to write okay now you can write the introduction come on i am giving you 3 minutes very important very important modify your styles and write modify your sentences modify your sentences and write
yes yeah i'm going to show you some magic now yes Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm showing you, I'm not showing the letter because I've already shown you number of letters. Okay, now I'm showing you how to improve the letter from ordinary to special. Okay. Thank you for taking over Mr. George Gale's post fall care. So you can change it into what style. So let us see here. Come on, how can you change it into passive voice? How can you change it into passive voice? Okay, how can you change this particular sentence into passive voice? Okay. So you can say like this, Mr. Gale, no need to write full name. First sentence you write only one time, no problem. Mr. Gale, okay. No, because already you use, Mr. Gale before. So blah, blah, blah. Come on. Mr. Gale. Finished. Hmm. Next. Whatever you want to write, you can write. 
Okay. Fine. Requires, comma, requires post for care. Yeah. So try to understand how I'm showing you. Okay, that is number one. Or you can say post for care is post for care is recommended. Post for care is recommended or advised or suggested. So the title makes small sentences first. Afterwards, you can join. Mr. Gale requires post for care. Post for care is recommended. We know only one patient. That's why we removed Mr. Gale. So if you start with Mr. Gale, it will be like this. So we remove that Mr. Gale. So post for care is recommended. Once time you told that is understood. That's all. Okay. But more than that, if you see in the case notes, what is required? What is required? Requires further care. Okay. At a nursing home. So you can write there. Okay. At the nursing home. Very good. Okay. Okay. Following the discharge, following the discharge, okay, following the discharge to the nursing home. So following the discharge, To the nursing home means to your facility. Okay. Following the discharge to uh, the care home. Okay. Following the discharge to the care home. Okay. So I'm giving you different, different options. Okay. Post fall care is recommended. Okay, following the discharge to the care home. Okay. Right. What else? What else? Okay. So now you write your own sentences. When and where you are writing, you can write your own sentence. Okay. Post fall care means you can say ongoing supervision and appropriate management. You are supervising and you are managing the situation. Right. I am writing to provide a brief summary of his background and plan for temporary residential care upon discharge. So this one can be written. Requires temporary residential care. So it's temporary. Okay. Right. Temporary. Okay. Where did you get the word temporary? Okay.
So, responsible for the care of an elderly patient was admitted after a fall. Right. Now you can see here. Right. Okay, you can see here, discharge to nursing home for temporary care. So these are the words how you have to take. Here is said further care. And here is a temporary care. See the confusion, wherever, whatever new word is there, you can take that. Okay. Further care is required. Discharge in nursing home for temporary care. Requires temporary care. Following the discharge to your facility. Requires temporary care. Okay. Following the discharge to your facility. Like that you can write. Okay. Next one. Afterwards, she can be returned to home as soon as possible. That is different thing. Okay. So now I'm giving. Now write small sentences. Don't try to write big sentences. Try to write small sentences. Okay, discharge to your facility. Okay. Right. Try to think and write. Try to think and write. No need to write big, big sentences. Write small, small sentences like how I am writing. If it is income sen incomplete sentence also, it is okay. Okay. Yes. Mr. Gill requires temporary residential care. Mr. Gill requires temporary residential care following the discharge to your facility. Today, I'm writing to provide this one, forget it. Okay. So, Mr. Gill requires temporary residential care at your facility for uh, or Mr. Uh, uh, requires temporary residential care following the discharge. Okay. To your facility. Yes, come on. Yes. Temporary residential care. Fine. Mr. Gale, an 85-year-old widow, lives alone in his own flat. What are the other ways you can write? Come on. What are the other ways you can write? Very good. One person has written at last. Come on. Others also. 
I will give you quality if you write. Nah? If you don't write, how can I give you quality? Hmm. So whenever you are writing a date, bring it to the beginning of this sentence. Every sentence there is gear. Every sentence there is gear. Very cheap quality. Hence, you will not get extraordinary marks. Okay. Because OET is only telling avoid active voice, right? Passive voice. And you are writing passive voice most often. They are giving Wi Fi, they are giving everything. But still, yeah. How to take these sentences and change them into passive ones? Check because I'll correct all these sentences. I already kept you here. Okay. I have kept you here. Very good. Those who are going to survive this session are going to provide those quality sentences now. Mr. Gale, comma is not required, Diana Shiva. Next one. Mr. Gale said that, use the word reported and write into passive voice. Mr. Gale later reported that, said, instead of said, you can use reported. Come on, improve. So you, I hope you understand what I'm telling you. Yeah. Instead of said, you can use reported and remove Mr. Gale. Yeah. So he reported already here. Here said is there. Remove and say reported. Here reported is there. Remove this reported from here. And it is already understood. Okay. So let it be reported as it is. He reported, active voice, a single episode of vomiting, palpitations, and dysuria two weeks prior to this incident. Okay. So you can break that one two, into two parts. A fever and dissertation. With fever and dissertation, is this required? Think about that. How every line, every line, he also requires regular monitoring for his non-specific qualities. So how you can say he also requires, okay? Okay, right. 
लेकिन एडिशन का राइट और यू कैन यूज एज वेल एज और यू कैन यूज नॉट ओनली बट आल्सो दैट इज लेटर स्टेज इन एडिशन कॉमा रेगुलर मॉनिटरिंग yeah in addition in addition to the regular monitoring monitoring for uh the non specific regular monitoring for the non specific colitis colitis in addition regular monitoring for the non specific colitis is required is required regular monitoring for his non specific colitis in addition regular monitoring for the non specific colitis in addition regular monitoring for the non specific colitis is required okay so i am changing is required in addition regular monitoring for the non specific colitis is required full stop so now here next one above so we get in a reverse angle fellow dip in and paracetamol felodipine and paracetamol are taken are taken felodipine and paracetamol are taken for managing managing lodipin and paracetamol are taken for managing okay hypertension and osteoarthritis okay lodipin and paracetamol are taken passivos for managing hypertension and osteoarthritis osteoarthritis respectively full stop okay felodipine and paracetamol are taken for and paracetamol are taken for managing hypertension and osteoarthritis respectively or right uh for hypertension hypertension and osteoarthritis
have been effectively managed with felodipine and yes right felodipine and also sorry hypertension okay hypertension and osteoarthritis have been effectively managed by managed with hypertension and osteoarthritis hypertension and sorry managed with sorry managed with felodipine and paracetamol respectively yes hypertension and osteoarthritis have been effectively managed with felodipine and paracetamol respectively the quality is coming up now you write whatever you want to write no problem come on all of you okay now we are improving official case notes if you write as it is they will not going to get okay you will get only 353 43 53 60 like that right mr gill now has reduced mobility therefore he needs to be encouraged to do 30 minutes of daily physical activity so now this one is reverse 30 minutes of Thirty minutes of thirty minutes of Thirty minutes of daily physical activity. for 30 minutes so regular daily physical activity for 30 minutes for at least 30 minutes 
regular daily physical activity for at least 30 minutes is recommended regular daily physical activity for at least 30 minutes okay is encouraged for mobility enhancement Increasing, increasing regular daily physical activity for at least thirty minutes is encouraged. For increasing mobility. Regular daily physical activity for at least 30 minutes is encouraged for increasing mobility. Increasing mobility, regular daily physical activity for at least 30 minutes is encouraged. See there how it is going there. Okay, now though despite I'm removed despite and said though though The urinary tract infection though the urinary tract information
infection infection is being successfully treated with intravenous antibiotics comma episodes of confusion So the urinary tract infection is being successfully treated with intravenous antibiotics. Episodes of confusion till blah blah. During the though the urinary tract infection is being successfully treated with intravenous antibiotics, episodes of confusion still. Although he is keen to return to his home, in spite of in spite of the intention to return home in spite of the intention in spite of or despite any one you can use either in spite of or you can use despite yeah In spite of our bracket made despite. Right. In spite of or despite. In spite of the intention to return home, comma. Right. Okay. An assessment. An assessment. for an assessment for an assessment regarding the regarding independent An assessment, 
regarding independent living is suggested an assessment regarding independent living is suggested or recommended or advised something like that whichever you feel not exactly all the things will fit in so accordingly you have to fit so when it should be there prior to the discharge prior to discharge okay earlier before discharge from your facility okay in spite of despite yesterday i told you though although even though but uh, yet uh, however so all these things you can use not all are fans there are some repairs also you have to repair the things or modify this is called repairing things something was low quality then you have to improve the quality first identify that the sentences are of low quality okay and now this i am changing now here keenness okay no okay intention to keen means intent intention to return home intention to return home has been expressed comma and therefore comma like the intention to return home has been expressed has been mentioned reported and therefore okay so an assessment for independent living is strongly recommended prior to discharge from your facility so this one we will take forward okay right prior to or prior from your facility right your assistance would be greatly appreciated it's very simple okay so you can write like this next based on the aforementioned circumstances in view of the aforesaid circumstances are based based on the aforementioned circumstances 
your support so based on the aforementioned circumstances comma would be profoundly beneficial very good very good many students are writing so how to change these things fine the passive voice okay So based on the aforementioned circumstances, your support would be profoundly beneficial. Finished. So slowly, 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 take one sentence and modify. So now I'm giving you another sentence here. urinary tract infection has been successfully treated with intravenous antibiotics comma however semicolon Episodes of confusion So this is the way how you are modifying the sentences So now take this letter and try to, you already learned how to write organization, you learned how to write sentences, you learned how to write vocabulary, okay, you learned how to think and put them on paper. Now you're already learning how to use many different things. So based on this one, try to use passive voice. He reported a single episode of vomiting. Okay, so he reported, remove this. Okay. He reported a single episode of vomiting. So just remove this one. Oh, a single episode of vomiting palpitations and dysuria. Okay. Have been Mr. Gill was admitted to Old Town Hospital with a fever and disorientation. 
symptoms later attributed to a febrile urinary tract infection. Okay. I find good. You can say, however, so modify the quality there. Therefore, he needs to be encouraged. Encouragement should be provided to perform 30 minutes of daily physical activity for regaining his mobility like that. Right. Now my question is, it is not everything, it is something, I did not give everything. He needs to be encouraged. Encouragement should be provided. Encouragement is required. Okay. To regain his strength. For regaining, For regaining, you can see. Next one. So you can write this letter and you can submit if you have not written. Those who have written can try something else. So actually, I'm very tired, that's why. Okay. The doctor's letter I will take tomorrow. Tomorrow is a mock test. So don't wait. Yeah. Your assistance would be greatly appreciated. Why greatly appreciated? Your assistance would be profoundly beneficial, better. Why should we appreciate a doctor for doing his own duty? Profoundly beneficial. Full stop. For the patient, okay, to improve his condition or whatever it is. So write your own sentences and submit. So that is for today. That is for today for nurses. Right. Right. Good night. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.